All right, welcome Algebra 2 Pre-Calc. Let's do this lesson number two for uh, trigonometry. All right, let's look at the first section here. Um, what is it asking us to do? It's saying, imagine you have a Ferris wheel and this is the Ferris wheel over here. And you know that the radius is 50 feet. So from the center of the circle or the center of the Ferris wheel to any side, it's 50 feet long. Now what we're going to do is we're going to take the height of the Ferris wheel at each specific angle around the, around the Ferris wheel. So the idea is imagine this is you. You are on the Ferris wheel over here. Okay, this is you and you're all happy. Now notice where are you right now? You're at zero degrees. Okay, we're going to imagine that the Ferris wheel starts over here. Now imagine that the Ferris wheel is going to go around like this, right? So you start here and then you're just going to go all the way around until you get back, right? So here at zero degrees, what is the height of where you're at? And let's review from yesterday. What does it mean to be for the height function? You're calculating the distance from a point to the X axis. So we're going to pretend that this is also the X axis as well. So notice at zero degrees, what is your height? I'm sorry, this should be a degrees and this should be height. Notice that zero degrees, what is your height with respect to the X axis? You're at zero. Okay. And then we're going to have that as a point over here. We're going to say, if we look at this X axis over here with this graph, Notice the first point is zero, zero. Okay. Um, what about for the next one? Let's mark. What is it asking us to do over here? It's saying mark the diagram to show the position of the passenger car at 30 degree intervals. So the idea is just like yesterday where we had the rotation of the circle, if this is zero degrees and we're going to go up by 30. So then let's do zero plus 30. This should be, let's say it's over here. And what I want you to do is try and be specific on your paper. Notice that what I did was I went to the 40 over here and I just went up. So this is 30 degrees. Where will 60 degrees be? Because you know, 30 plus 30 is 60. Let's make it, you know, somewhere over here and say that's 60 degrees. And notice that I did it like at the uh, 25 mark over here. Okay, um, so then 90 degrees is over here, which is at the point over here. Then where is 120? Let's have it over here, 120 degrees. And notice we're going to have it between negative 30. And let me actually zoom in a little bit. My bad. Um, okay, that's better. So notice where is 120 degrees, it's between negative 30 and negative 20. So we'll say negative 25, right? What about the next one, 150 degrees, we'll have it over here. And this will be at the negative 40 mark. Okay. Where is the next angle? 180 degrees. Then we're going to have to have 180 plus 30 is 210. So then we'll have that here. And then here after 210, it's 240, which we'll have over here. And notice that I put it. So how did I find 210? I went to negative 40 and I went down. How did I get 240? I went to, to the negative 25 and I went down. So the next one is 270, which will be remember the f we had that idea of the four corners yesterday, right? The four corners are zero. 90, 180, 270, and then over here we're going to have also 360, right? Um, so then here, what's after 270? 270 will have uh, 300 degrees, right? So we'll put it, uh, we'll put it over here, 300 degrees. And then what about over here? Uh, what's after 300? It'll be 330, and we'll have it over here. Okay, great. So far, so good. So this is you on the Ferris wheel. So imagine we, at zero degrees, what is your height? Your height is your zero, 
because the idea is, oh, let me fix the camera angle. Um, okay. You see, when you're here, your height is zero because the definition of the height function is the distance from the point to the x-axis. So that's our first point here. What about the next point? If you're 30 degrees, how do you calculate the height? Well, you ask yourself, what's the distance from here to here? What is this distance? And notice that all I need to do is, well, okay, to find this distance over here, I just need to look at, I just take my two, like from here to here, I just do this. What is it? It's about, let's say, 30. It's about 30. So then we say at 30 degrees, the height is going to be 30 when we're looking at the y-axis because we're, we're taking this distance. So this is, uh, let's say, 30 feet. Okay. What about at 60 degrees? At 60 degrees, what's the height? I just go whatever here to here is. And notice what's this distance here. Let's say it's about, uh, let's say it's 60 degrees, it's 45 feet. Okay. I'm sorry, I wrote it over here. Uh, my bad, let me fix the camera angle. Uh, okay. And then what are we going to do with these two points? Notice that we're going to mark them over here. So here, when we look at this graph over here, we have to mark 30 and 30. So where is 30 and 30? Remember, this degrees will be the x-axis and the height will be the y-axis. So then this is 30, 30 is here. Then what's the next one? We have 60, 45. So 60, 45 is somewhere here. Okay, what about the next one? What about 90 degrees? What I want you to do is, what would the height for 90 degrees be? Try and pause the video and figure it out, right? Because here at 90 degrees, the height is from here to here. And what is this height? This has to be 50 feet. So notice at 90 degrees, we have 50 feet, okay? Now let's continue. So here, this is gonna, at 90, it's gonna be 50. And then notice, you see how the, the lines are increasing? Now, what do you believe will happen? What's gonna happen to the, the height of where you're at when the Ferris wheel starts going from 90 to 180 degrees? Notice what's the height at 120 degrees. It'll be the same height as 60 degrees. So notice that it's about that 45. So this is 120 degrees. It'll go back down to 45 feet. So then we could have that over here. And then for 120 degrees, we have 45. What about at 150 degrees? Notice that this height will be the same as the 30 degrees. So at 30 degrees, it was 30. So at 150, it's also, oh, I'm sorry. Uh, yeah, it should be about 30. So here, 150 degrees, and this is uh, 30 feet. And then here at 150, we're at 30. And then notice what happens at 180 degrees. What is your height? Your height will go back down to because you see it was from, it started at zero, up, 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 and then it goes all the way back down to zero feet. So notice that this is our height of the function from zero to 180 degrees, and let's just make a smooth parabolic curve for it. Okay, great. Now, we need to do the same thing for between 180 and from between 180 and 360 degrees. But one thing I want, uh, want you to notice is, if you look over here, what are, you see how your Y values over here were all positive? What happens over here, your Y values are all negative. So let's take a look at 210 degrees. Notice, what is the height of 210 degrees? It is the distance from here to here and notice that this distance we're gonna say is gonna be negative 30 because we're in this quadrant over here. Even though distance can't be negative, 
we're gonna say that the point value over here, like the, the X coordinate, like if this has a point, the point for this would be uh, negative 45, negative 30. That's the point for it, okay? So then here at, let's say 210 degrees, which we'll have over here, and let me, at 210 degrees, we're gonna say that this is negative 30 feet. Okay, and then that's what we're gonna put over here. We're gonna go to 210, and then we're gonna go to negative 30, and that point should be over here. And what I want you to do is try and finish the, oh, sorry, try and finish the rest. Try and go from 210 all the way to 360 degrees and see what happens. Notice that the graph originally was like this. What do you think will happen when you go from here to here? Okay, so what is the height of 240? Notice that this is close to, let's say, negative 45 feet. So at 240, it's gonna be negative 45, which is here. And what's the height at 270? It should be negative 50 feet. So at 270 degrees, it'll be negative 50 feet. So then we'll have that here. And then what about at 300? 300 will be about negative 45 feet. And then at 300, we'll have this here. And what about at 330? It'll go back to, notice that whatever 210 is, the height for 210, it has to be the same height for the 330. So this is 330 and this will be uh, negative 30 feet. And then this should be over here. And then at 360 degrees, now imagine you were here and you went all the way around. Now you're over here, so this should be at zero feet. Okay, and then you go back over here, and then this should be our graph. Should look just something like this. And there we go. All right, I know this was a lot for you to follow for me to do. It would have been much better if we could have done it with uh, our paper plate model. So the idea for the next part of the lesson is if you turn to the next page, we wanna do this paper plate model and we, the idea is we wanna find the height and let me uh, zoom in. We wanna find the height and we also want to find the co-height. And I'll talk about what that means. So the height, we have this idea of up and down, right? Anytime we took the height of any degree, you just went the distance from here to here, here to here, right? Uh, co-height will be a little bit different. But the idea is, can you make this at home? It really couldn't, it's not too bad. What I want you to do with something you have in home Take a piece of paper, it doesn't have to be colorful, just like this, but all you really need to do is, you just need to have a ruler. If you have a ruler at home, this would be great. Like, you can do this at home. So if you have a ruler, I want you to try and do this. Um, take a line like this, you know, all right, so here's a line, and then we have it cutting the paper like this, and we have another line cutting the paper like this, and what I want you to do is, in your house, you don't need to find um, a plate that will fit the paper exactly. What I want you to do is find anything in your house that is circular, right? You could have a cup, you could have anything you want. And what I want you to do is try and draw a circle on your paper, okay? So I'll use this, this is, um, right? So what I'll do is I'll just take this paper plate over here and then I'll try and put it on the center, give or take. Um, actually, no, it has to be, uh, yeah, okay. So let's say this is at the center of the paper and then I'll just draw a circle around and then boom, I have a circle. It could, be, it could have been a cup and the distances won't matter. But the idea is from here, mark 
the same thing I did with the paper before where I marked the degrees 0, 15, 30. Remember, where always start like this 0, 90, 180, 270, and then 360, right? And then mark your degrees. So what's at, starting from 15 degrees? So here, 15 degrees would look like this. Uh, 30 degrees would look like this. 45 degrees has to be somewhere here, right? Notice that 45 cuts in half the zero and the 90, right? So to try and think that the 45 is exactly in between zero and 90. So then this would be what, 60. And then this is what, 75, okay? And what I want you to do is go around the whole circle. You could basically create this. And the idea is what we're gonna do, we are going to find the height and the co-height for every single degree. So let's imagine if we have it on this paper over here. Okay, so I'm gonna take the paper out. Now, let me actually draw the circle. Uh, where was my plate? Okay, let me actually draw the circle uh, here. Okay, and I'm gonna start like this. Okay, great. Now, what I'm gonna do is, now it doesn't have to be super perfect, but what we're gonna do is we're going to find the height of every single degree. And how do you find the height? You take the distance from a point and you draw an arrow down. So let's take a look. First, we're gonna start at zero degrees. So let's take our paper over here and we're gonna record the measurements over here. So let's take a look. Um, let me fold this in half. Okay. So um, let's take a look. At zero degrees, what is the height? So let's take a look. Uh, let me use this color marker. Actually, let me use this one. So actually, this is probably hard to see. Let me do it with the orange. Okay, so here we're gonna have height as orange, okay? So notice at zero degrees, what is the height at zero degrees? Well, if I draw a straight line, notice that there's no height. It's just zero because there's no distance from here to the line because you're, the point is on the line. Now, what about at 15 degrees, right? Well, I draw a line from here to here. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take my ruler and I'm going to measure it in centimeters and then notice that what is the measurement? It is about two centimeters, okay? So here I could calculate two centimeters, okay? Now what about at 30 degrees? Let's go to 30 degrees and let's draw a line from here to here. And notice that it's about, from here on my ruler, it's about between three and four centimeters. So we're gonna say like 3.5 centimeters. What about the next one at 45 degrees? I'm gonna do the same thing. I just go from here to here. And notice that this distance looks like, oh, sorry. Uh, it looks like about five centimeters, okay? And now notice that this, the measurements I have may be different from what you have because if you have a different circle, it, it, it It'll be okay if you have different measurements, but one th there's one thing that will be consistent and it'll be the graph at the end, but let's just keep going around, okay? So what about the next one? At, seven, at 60 degrees, what is this distance? It's gonna be uh, seven centimeters. So this is seven centimeters. Okay, what about 75 degrees? This distance looks like to be Eight, uh, let's see, about eight centimeters. So here I'll have eight centimeters. Uh, what about the next one at 90 degrees? It 
it looks like to be 8.5 centimeters. Uh, let's see if you can see here. Notice this is between 8 and 9, so it's about 8.5 centimeters. Okay. Now, notice, doesn't that make sense, the measurements, right? Like, your measurements should be increasing. It should start at zero, and it should increase, 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 right? Now, what's going to happen with the lines from here to here? Notice that whatever the distance is for 75, it has to be the same for 105. The, the height from here to here and the height from here to here has to be the same. So like if this was notice at 70 at 75 degrees, you see how it has to mirror each other. If this is 8.5, what's the next one? This has to be eight centimeters. Then what will be at 120 degrees, whatever it was for 60, it has to match the 120. So what was it at 60? It was seven centimeters, so this has to also be seven centimeters. What about at 135? Well, at 135, it'll be the same as which one of these angles over here. It has to be the same as the 45. And if you want, we could check it. Uh, what was it? If you said, let's see, at 135, what did we say? It has to be the same as 45. So if this was five centimeters, notice, watch what happens at 135. Notice it's very, very close to five centimeters over here. And the idea is this isn't a perfect circle, but the, um, the measurements should be very, very close. So let's keep going around. And what about at 150, it should be the same, like what should it be at 150 should be the same as the 30. So what did we have for 30? It was 3.5. Now what about at 165? This, will be the same as 15, so this should be two centimeters. And then what's the height at 180? Notice there is no height, so we'll say zero centimeters, okay? Now, how do we continue further? We have to do, we have to keep going. You have to do it at 195. But notice that the distance for 195 will be the same as 165. But one thing that we have to take into consideration, do you remember how before we had, remember how here between zero and 180 degrees, what did you notice about all the values between zero and 180 degrees from here to here? All the values are positive. And why are they positive? Because if this is the x-axis, everything above the x-axis has positive y-values. And what do you notice about everything in between 180 to, two, to 360? All these values were negative between 180 and 360 because all the y values are negative below the x-axis so this was negative okay so notice over here when we get to this part that what do you know about the height for everything from here to here they are all positive values so when we go over here between 180 to 360 all these values have to be negative. So what I want you to do is try and finish the rest of the height knowing these measurements and what they have to be, okay? Okay, wow, 24 minute video. This is Mr. G is beasting, but uh, we gotta go through it, right? Um, okay, so here notice that for 195, it has to be the same as 165. So at 165, if it was two centimeters, the distance from here to here, we're gonna say is negative two centimeters, okay? Um, and it will make more sense in the next part of the lesson why this is negative. But here, what about for 210? 210 has to be the same 
as 150. So what is it at 150? It's 3.5, so this should be negative 3.5 centimeters. So try and just go backwards. You see, if this was zero, this is two, so this is negative two. If this was 3.5, negative 3.5. This is five, this is negative five. This was negative seven centimeters, negative eight centimeters, and this is negative 8.5 centimeters. And then it goes back down, so negative eight centimeters. So like, let's say from here to here, when you get to this, what's the height from here to here? It's negative 8.5, and then you gotta work your way back down. So here it'll go negative eight, negative seven, negative five, negative 3.5, negative uh, two, and then zero centimeters. Okay, and then what's the next thing to do once you have these values? On the next page, it's asking you to graph it, okay? And you're gonna get something very, very similar, okay? So like, how do you actually graph? You see, the next page looks something like this. This is page number three, okay? Um, what we're asking you to do is, you need to graph this function. And what does it look like at each point? So from here to here, let's take a look. Uh -huh. uh, let's see, it's very fuzzy. Okay, now let's take a look. At zero, zero, you see how we have, this is the, uh, this is the x-axis here, this is the y-axis, and for my height, you see this is the x-axis over here, and this is the y-axis over here, okay? So for the x-axis, what we need to do is zero, zero, right? So this is one point, zero, zero. What's the next point? 15, two. So I go 15 and two is somewhere between zero and four, so this is 15 and two. 30 and 3.5 should be here. Uh, let's see, 45 should be five centimeters, so it's here. 60 will be at seven centimeters, will be here. This will be eight centimeters, and then somewhere 8.5, okay? And then what happens, you'll have that same, let's see, after 90, you see here, if this is, this is 15, 30, 45, 60, 75, 90, 105. What I want you to do is graph all these points. Try and do it before I do it myself, right? But the idea is your graph should look something like this. And you will have this same graph no matter what size the circle is. It doesn't matter if the circle was this small. Oh, <laughs> uh, it doesn't matter if the circle is that small, right? Like here or that big, it won't matter. I, you'll still have the same height and co-height, okay? Uh, let's move on. So this was for this part, this was the height. Now, how do you find the next part of the co-height, the co-height will be a little bit different. So let's take a look at this for a second. Um, wow, I'm reaching 29 minutes, I'm sorry guys. I kind of beasted on this, but um, let's just say this lesson will take two days, okay? If you feel like you did this and you're tired, you know what, I'll just make a different video. I'll do a different video for the co-height. So this was, we're done with height. The next part of this lesson is co-height. So I'll make a different video for it. And that's it for today. This will be for tomorrow. Okay, enjoy your day.